Hey y'all, Dekumon here, and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Ram. Last time, we finally outed 426, who was hiding out in Erika Iva's body, aka Tamau Karabe's android body. Yeah, that was a hell of a scene. <sighs> and then we got locked again, and there's only two characters I can actually unlock. Juro and Iori. Now, Iori's, we actually got her on lock condition before Juro, so we're gonna unlock her first. Right. But we are definitely getting down to the point where I'm gonna have to go into destruction for a while and just start cleaning house. Probably at least the first half of Area 1, if not all of Area 1. Can't believe Iori might be the first character we actually finish. Hmm? Kind of a scary thought. Been a while since we've really seen any of her. Oh my god, they're heading home again. You girls just love doing this walk, don't you? Shall we get a bite to eat? Oh my god. Shopping district after school three. Are you telling me that the girls are gonna get more food? We're gonna get even more food? Uh, where were we? The love begins. Here we are. Yori was harassed by some delinquents until he defused the situation. Before he took off completely, she made up her mind and admitted her feelings for him. That was A. Of course, now he don't remember Jack squat about it. <sighs> uh, yeah, good idea. You can choose, Miwako. Mm hmm? Is something wrong with Sami-chan? First, you helped me look for that record. Now this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Eh? Oh, come on, don't overthink it. I, I just figured, you know... You know all the best places to go. Okay. Mm. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Uh, of hmm. course. In that case... Where did this take place? This... is not like Tomi. Tomi's definitely been far more assertive, shall we say. But to suddenly defer to Miwako? Are you cool with that, Iori? I am a little concerned, yes. girl. Is that okay? Uh, you know what? Let's let me Chan choose. Sure. What do you feel like today, Miwa Chan? You're about to find out. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god, what have I signed up for this time? Hmm. Ooh, meat skewers, shish kebabs. Oh, those look good. Was that an izakaya? I thought those places didn't open till late. Uh, they don't, but you can still order yakitori for takeout. Oh, uh, so that's what that is, yakitori. I've been wanting to try it forever. That does look really good. It's so good. <laughs> ah, vanilla ware and their food Whoa, porn. At it again. Right. Oh, master of the meal. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. <laughs> I think that one's for eating all the possible foodstuffs in the game, so yeah. What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. <laughs> You're right. People are giving us looks. Well, you better chow down and finish this it then. High school girls can get away with anything. <laughs> but this is embarrassing. Just try a bite, Usami chan. <sighs> oh. Mmm. Whoa, that is good! <laughs> See? Mm, I love the sauce. Ah. Uh, now where are we gonna oh, go from here? Now that that's taken care of, do you have something to tell us, Yuri chan Oh, I see. We're gonna talk Definitely about our confession tell. with A. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Come on, spill Oh the my games. god, look at Miwako. She's like, oh. I thought we were friends, Yuri chan And there's the puffy face. Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? <laughs> we have a right to know. <laughs> what do you mean you have a right to know? It's my private life. Get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. That, uh, I think that actually is exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, a Sekigahara. Yep, yeah, we definitely have that. A Sekigahara. Sekigahara. Oh. Of all people. Oh, <laughs> Toby knows that name. Of course she does. You of know course she does. Time? Well, uh. Mm-hmm. Let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Oh. 
Why? He's not a normal high school kid. Uh, yeah, very true. In some shady business. Also technically true, but I'm honestly considering like how many of you kids are involved in shady business? Seriously, I think Miwako is probably the only one not involved in something shady at this point. All right, Tommy, you gotta spill the beans. I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. <laughs> but I can't stop how I feel. Uh, God dang it. Oh! Please Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Sekigahara-kun! Come with me. Hmm? What? But... <laughs> like, this is very sudden. What do you want with Yori? Tell me, Kisaragi. Oh. There's no time to explain. <laughs> uh, actually, a fun game, if you haven't played that. It's a fun little flash game. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. Uh, all right. Yori-chan. <laughs> this is a Yori. If you need to go, then go! <laughs> right. Uh, oh dear. Oh, is this going to end badly? Sunset on the bypass. Do you still have those dreams? Yes. Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. Hmm? They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Oh. Our teacher? Well, more than just our teacher. Your nurse, your clone, or rather your her clone. You received them in a memory transplant. <laughs> no way. Uh -huh. Future technology does have that capability. It also has the ability to make a kick-ass motorcycle. Miss Morimura is from the future? Uh, duh. Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun the same? Uh, that one's tough to figure out. Karabe? You're acquainted with Tamao san? Oh. Tamao? Yeah, she doesn't no, know Tamao. I'm Juro Karabe from my class. Juro? Mm hmm. So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. Oh, no. Oh, I think I know where this scene's leading, and it's not gonna be pleasant. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. Yeah, this is so gonna lead into what I think it is. Oh, okay, maybe not. This is definitely not where I expected to be. She's at the park? Hey, wait! Hi? Have we ever been at this place? Looks Ayame like Park. here first. I guess not. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I honestly thought we were gonna head to the alleyway where A ends up shooting Morimura and we were gonna witness that murder firsthand right here and now. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? You already do- um, I'm gonna say, I just say, don't start blushing. Hey, <laughs> Sekigahara-kun. Would you mind if I called you A-kun? Yeah, it is a lot shorter. If that's what you want. <sighs> oh, once. Oh, right. What's wrong? He's suffering from DD four two six right now, and his memories are going to hell. <sighs> and he's even got the same little pills that Ryoko has. Are you okay? Nope. You know, I grew up just like you. Right here in Ashitaba City. Well. 80 years into the future, that is. Aha. Uh -huh. You saw it, right? The wreckage? Yeah, we've seen it several times. It'll happen here any day now. Shit. Just as you saw in your dreams. This town will come under attack by the Daimos. And we'll spend our because time defending it. Were Miss Morimura's memories. That's why you both came here, right? To fight the Kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. Hmm? At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. 
those capable of altering this world? That's, uh, that's uh, lightly cryptic. Also, implying that Morimura's given up. Interesting. Is that because of Project Aegis? Is that why you're saying that? You're one of them. Yeah, yeah, but she is. This world is beyond saving. Uh, huh? what? What do you mean, beyond saving? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. Oh. The city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. <laughs> uh, you're crazy, son of a bitch, dude. Oh. I'm gonna throw Miwako at him? Oh. She won't leave her friends behind, that's why. What about Miwachan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. Mm hmm. But your parents aren't real. Whoa. Chihiro Morimura came here from Sector One. You are no different. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, Yori's about to find out she's a clone. They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll do it. Oh. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. Oh, okay. Everyone. She's gonna stay and fight. And how do you plan on doing that? Oh. Giant robots? Giant robots seem to work pretty damn well against these things. Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're part of the party. Oh, and I... We don't have much time left. Oh, because of the memory I loss. To stay around. Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Oh. Do you get it now? That's sad. <sighs> really, dude? And the worst part is, he's gonna forget all of this by the time his storyline comes around. Come on, girl. You know what? I'll go check if Miss Morimura is here yet. <sighs> Seriously? After all that, you couldn't get. Oh! <gasps> Catsuit Morimura! Fuyusaka san. She looks just like in my dreams. Uh huh. Well, this ought to be rather interesting. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. Oh. She has a right to know. Come on, Chihiro. Spill it. Hmm. Go on. Tell her. Uh, why? Strange dreams? Yeah, I thought Is so. Is true? Are my dreams really your memories? Hmm. Why would you do such a thing? If you're not going to talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. Oh. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Oh, that's very different from what I thought. I thought this was a clone thing. No. You were being prepped for a freaking consciousness transfer. Oh. You were her backup plan. Oh, 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 damn that. That is a thing. Wow. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention. <laughs> oh. But things have changed. Eh? Oh. Operation Aegis is all we have left. Oh, I see. And this is where Chihiro and A are going to have a serious spat. So then. What's going to happen to me? You're going to have to fight. No, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. 
You do carry my memories within you. Mm hmm. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Oh. Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. Izumi was messing with the Yori's mind. Well, well, well. You mean the Kurabe kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? Uh huh. No. I have nothing to do with his current state. Whoa, whoa, what? I thought you gave him the Karabe personality. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi kun. The mass murderer, uh, right? Your memories just hit me. Oh. I understand how you feel. Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. Hey, are you? She's not lying about her feelings. What is going on here now? I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. Whoa, 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 whoa. You transplanted memories into Tamao. And partially into Shu, if I remember correctly. I had to deliver on a promise I made. A promise? There has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. Hmm? That's why I called you here. Why? Why they're compatible? Tell me. Dude, I have the foggiest. The truth is, I am no longer human. Oh. <sighs> when the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. You're an android, aren't you? Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. Uh, <laughs> universal control. Oh, son of a bitch. I, I like three things just hit me all at once. Oh. Oh God. Okay, so first off, Universal Control has only really been mentioned one other time, and that was by the Inaba on the TV and Shu storyline. But now that we know that this whole city is just basically artificial, and can obviously they have some sort of projection technology, or we notice the fact that, you know, we're inside a dome. She's a projection, an AI projection and so is Fluffy. That's how he was able to actually turn the damn television off. That's how he can appear only to certain people. He's basically just tuning into their nano machines, isn't he? That's all that's left of me. Shit. You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Eh? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. Okay, we really need a proper explanation of Sector Zero and the next world, A. Eh? Seriously. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. Oh. In short, it's not possible. Ah, crap. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Mm -hmm. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data... Universal Control did its work. Shit. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. Okay, so no time looping. No perfect time looping in any way. And the only way to escape is basically to have your mind transferred. Shit. So that's what a loop really is. Uh-huh. And that's why Operation Aegis is actually a thing. Can't just reset and try again, or nobody's gonna there are survive. Fifteen humans capable of carrying out the plan. Mm hmm. What plan? Fifteen. The plan made in the year twenty-one eighty-eight to continue the species. Uh huh. But I'm no longer a part. Uh -huh. I'm nothing but a doll, held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. Hence the reason for Iori. The version of you who was born into this world, Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. The version of you born in this world. 
Oh my gosh, that's got some real implications. Oh, wow. What are we going to do about that now? Sekigahara-kun, I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. Yep. You would be correct. And that plan's in the shitter and now. you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Oh! <laughs> are you going to shoot me right here and now? Wait a minute. If you're a freaking illusion, how the hell did you die at the beginning of A's story? No, seriously, how? You can't do that. I uh, even now, like shooting her doesn't seem like it's going to work. Put into motion. This world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. Hmm. In other words, you'll continue to live. Uh huh. Human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place. Nope. Aikun! Uh, he's been doing all this to try and save Ryoko from her own fate. And no luck. Oh, I can't talk to Chihiro? Seriously? Oh! What are you doing here, Mini Morimura? That was unexpected. I was not expecting to see her here. Aikun, I'll protect you. Let's do this together. If only I had the courage to take your hand. Aww. That would have been for the best. <sighs> and he's gone. Wow. I repeat. Mm hmm? We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. Ah, uh, and here they come. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. Yep. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitama City. And this is the point where we get to have our intro scene. Oh, and there she goes. Iori's off to fight. The attack. Uh huh. Only one thing left to do. Yep. Sentinel number 15 has been added to the thought cloud. Aikun Sentinel number 15. Oh. A Sentinel. His last words to me. Oh, he gave us his Sentinel. Wait. Aikun, wait. Before he lost his There's mind completely. All of a sudden. And then you pull me away to a place like this? <sighs> oh. Stay still. Huh? What? Um. Uh. Hey, watch it with um, that. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not where this is going, Iori. Don't worry. Found it. Uh huh. There you are, you little Odd rat place bastard. To be shot. Whoa. Odd place what to be that? shot. Yeah, exactly. An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. <laughs> Don't move. That should do it. Mm hmm. If what four two six said is true, that's all I need to do. What? I registered my sentinel. Oh. Sentinel number 15. Yeah, he does give us his sentinel. Shit. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine, but it's in better hands with you. It really was worthless in the end. Damn. Don't say that. Oh. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Come on. Oh. It's nothing. You bastard, just kiss her already. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. <sighs> and off he goes. Next time we see him, he'll have lost his mind. Just as Aikun said, 
I'm going to believe in myself now. Yep. Mom, Dad, Miwa-chan, and the rest. I can do it. I can protect you all. It's time. It is indeed time to summon the Sentinel. I may be just a schoolgirl, but now I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, time for some Super Sentai. Sentinel number 15, coming in hot. Very cool. Very cool. And that's it, isn't it? To the final battle! Ah, the invincible schoolgirls. Fuyasaka's story's cleared! Yay! We finally got one done! Oh, it feels so good to actually have one of these beaten! Oh. And we get a little thing of your Oh, we got a lot of thing of Yori's. Fuyusaka is originally a resident of Sector 1, and the parents she knows aren't her biological family, so she was from Sector 1 originally. Morimura was transplanting her own memories into Fuyusaka, but due to 426's influence, Morimura's memories are simply perceived as a hazy dream. When the Kaiju appeared in 1985, Fuyusaka musters up her courage and activates Sentinel number 15 which Sekigahara passed on to her. Wow. Oh, holy cat. Uh, no, I have more memories unlocked. Uh, in order to become compatible, she tried to overwrite her memories and personality into Fuyusaka and take over her body, but gave up on it after hearing that a loop was no longer possible. Yeah. The looping thing doesn't work the way you thought it did, huh? Any more? Dang. So hoping I'd get another one. Yep. Yori Fuyusaka cleared. Oh, that feels so good to have one fully completed. <sighs> wow. Hmm. You know, this might actually be uh, a good spot to stop for now. After that, oh, that heartfelt attempted confession. Ah, and once again, another love story goes unfulfilled. Poor Iori, and poor A. You know, interesting question. Where does that actually take place? Where in the hell does that take place in this timeline? There it is, there's Invincible Schoolgirl. That happens there. And this is all A's memories. Right here, where he wakes up. A new awakening, that's when he wakes there. There it is, it is literally like one of the last things that happens before he loses his damn mind. Shit. Oh, wow, 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 wow. All right, guys, we're gonna leave this here for now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah, poor A and Iori. That's just the way it goes in these sort of games, I suppose. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me because I think next time, it's finally time to start jumping back into the old giant robots. Maybe at least until I get past wave five, because then we'll start unlocking a few more stories. But until then, see you guys in the next video.